Hello there and welcome back to more problem solving involving genetics. This one is going to be monohybrid cross and because the problem is very large I'm just going to read it out loud and write down the important information for you. Now assume that eye color in humans is controlled by a gene where the effect of the allele for brown eyes, big B, is dominant over the effect for that of for blue eyes, little b. Now the first question we have here is what is the genotype of a brown eyed individual who marries a blue eyed individual and produces a first offspring that is blue-eyed. In order to get blue eyes, it's recessive. And this one here is dominant. This tells me that in order to ha ever have blue eyes, you need to have a genotype for it as little b, little b. So that tells us that is the genotype of one of the parents. Now, the, it says that it's crossed with a person that has brown eyes. Brown eyes, because it's dominant, can either have this genotype, heterozygous, or it can be homozygous dominant. But to figure out what genotype the other parent has, it tells us that, or it gives us a hint, in the other part of the question, and produces a first offspring that is blue-eyed. So this tells us that this cross with a brown-eyed person gives off offspring that also has blue eyes. Now, if you crossed the blue-eyed the blue person right here with a, let's say, homozygous dominant, this one here, all of the progeny would have brown eyes. So that tells us that the other parent must be heterozygous. And also, sorry, I'm putting A's here when I really shouldn't be putting A's. These A's here are equivalent to putting big B's. Sorry if that confused you a bit. There we go. So we just figured out the, that the other parent must be heterozygous. This equals brown eyes still, and this would be blue eyes. Now the next question is, for the same mating as in the question we just solved, what proportions of the two eye colors are expected among further offspring? To solve this part, we're going to be making a Punnett square. Now, if you cross the heterozygous person here with the homozygous recessive one here, you get a one-to-one -one ratio. Half of the progeny are going to be homozygous recessive, the other half heterozygous. So that says that half of the further progeny are going to have brown eyes, and the other half are going to have blue eyes. Now, the next question is, what are the expected proportions of eye colors among the offspring of a mating between two brown-eyed individuals who each had one parent that was blue-eyed? So it's, it's saying, what are, what are the expected proportions between two brown-eyed people who, had, who both had parents that were blue-eyed? So the reason they're telling us that each of them had a parent that was blue-eyed is because to be brown-eyed, you can either be homozygous dominant or it can be heterozygous. And if you had a parent that had blue eyes, that means they had to be little b, little b, which means they were contributing, no matter what, at least one recessive allele to the offspring. So in order to have brown eyes then, we can't ha possibly have two big Bs at all. Because the little B had to be contributed from one of the, one of the parents, the parent that had blue eyes. This basically tell us, tells us that we're doing two heterozygous crosses. Each of the parents, the brown-eyed parents, ha are heterozygous. And if you direct your eyes up here, this is the new Punnett square. I crossed two heterozygous parents, each of them brown eyes. And we, to, to remind you, we've determined they have brown eyes because they had blue-eyed parents. The blue-eyed parents need to, have, need to be homozygous recessive, which means they had to, no matter what, contribute at least one recessive allele to the offspring, telling us that in order to be brown-eyed, they must be heterozygous, or else they just can't be brown-eyed. So the question asks, what are the expected proportions of eye colors among offspring? Well, we have one blue-eyed individual and three brown-eyed. That tells us that three-fourths are going to be brown-eyed and one-fourth will be blue-eyed. Thank you for watching. If anything wasn't really clear, feel free to ask in the comment section below, and I'll get, try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I do hope you're having a fantastic day.